How's it going, Pokemon fans? Shane here from Jolly Mons, and today we're going to finally play a little bit with Raikou Eels with the Toolbox variant. Now, I know this is going up a little late. That's my fault. It's been a very hectic weekend. We did drive to and from Fort Wayne, like I know I've mentioned in the past, uh, and my work schedule, as usual, is very hectic. Uh, but anyways, I guess I should show you the deck, huh? So, again, if you didn't watch the deck profile, here's the deck that we're going that we're going to be playing with. Uh, if you haven't checked out the deck profile, make sure you go do that. There will be a link in the description. But uh, enough about that. I will see you guys in the game. All right. So it looks like we're playing against Night March. Oop, I should probably turn my phone off. Be a good idea. Well, yeah. I mean, it's probably Night March. I mean, it could, I guess, be the mirror, but I highly doubt it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start the Raikou. Um, this is actually, like, we don't have a draw supporter, so that's kind of lame. But we really don't even need to bridge it. This is one of those few games we don't need to bridge a turn one. We already got two Tynamo and a Raikou. So, if we can draw a draw supporter over the next couple turns, this will be pretty nice. Because we can go Tynamo, Tynamo, attach for a turn, next turn level ball for one electric. So, I mean, we have... We have some plays here. Assuming we don't draw really, really bad. Yeah, it's definitely Night March. There's a third Tynamo. We'll attach to the Raikou and pass. Now, here's the thing. If he doesn't play N or we don't draw a draw supporter, uh, this is going to be very bad. Now, we are playing Karen, so... That's going to be something we hold in the reserves until he overextends. So there's the belt. Does he have the D-Valley? Okay, he's got the Shaman, though. So, I mean, I wouldn't have played the puzzle there if I were him. I mean, it's only one card, and I would have held that puzzle. It's a complete waste of a puzzle. And it doesn't even look like he got there. So he definitely wasted his puzzle. Oh, wait. Nope, there's the Ultra Ball. He's going to go get another Shaman. And there goes another puzzle. This is very good for us. He's already gone through two puzzles. So. Alright, he's going to go get himself. Get the N. Get the N. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to get in. Alright, so the only drawback here... Um... Jeez, this is not good. Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to play this. So, if I Ultra Ball... We can try to get to the float stone, I guess. Um. Alright, so we're going to Dynamotor, and we'll just put it on one of these Tynamos. We're going to play our Coco. We're going to move that energy and that energy and bring him up to the active, and we're going to play our Sycamore. Wow, we whiffed the energy. Oh my god. We're playing 9 energy, so that should pretty much never happen. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, that definitely happened. Um, oh my god. So... Well then. Uh, 
isn't good. Um, frick. Uh, let's compress her. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna go ahead and put a Karen in the yard for us. Or not. Our Karen is prized. That's not good. Um. So Giratina is gonna be really useless here. And then we're gonna throw a couple energy in there. Can't believe we whiffed the energy. Well, let's go ahead and dynamotor. What we'll do, though, is we'll put the Fury Belt on Coco to force him to get to really high numbers and go from there. So, um, let's go ahead and Field Blower. We'll get rid of his D Valley and his Belt just to make him hit higher numbers. So we're putting him in a position where he needs to have another belt, which he probably doesn't have, another Dimension Valley, and a, uh, what is it, 10 Night Marchers? Or get the Dimension Valley and 11 Night Marchers. Now he can also just retreat to the Joltik here. And, but that's going to force him to have a DCE and uh, 10 Night Marchers. So, no matter what here, we've put him in a really awkward spot to try and take a prize this turn. Now, this does look like he's going to go for that retreat route. But can he get that many Night Marchers out? He's only got two in there right now. Okay, nope, he's going to Guzma around. So he's going to bring up a Tynamo and take a knockout on a Tynamo. Um, so let's Sycamore. The amount of versus the fact we have to keep sycamoring away a versus seeker is gonna come back to haunt us probably. Well, that's a hand why are we not seeing any energy? This is insane. Okay. Uh it's dynamotor. I mean though it's not gonna do us any good. We're still in this really awkward position because RNG doesn't like us. So we'll pass. Uh next turn we'll probably just chorus. Like, we'll drop the electric and then Colrus. So, yeah, we'll play that electric. Let's go ahead and put this belt on our Raikou. And Colrus, because we need energy. Are you kidding me, game? <sighs> this is very unfortunate. I mean, there's nothing we can really do here. So we'll pass. Uh, so it's just that weird situation where RNG Jesus hates us. We're playing nine energy, and we only have four on board. I believe one is prized, so we have four left in the deck, and we're just not seeing one. And we're also not seeing our second compressor, which may be prized. It's possible. So they're just going to slowly chip away here at our Coco, because we can't do anything to stop them. Uh, let's go ahead and put that Floatstone down. Uh, we don't really need any of that right now. Ugh, I'm just going to... Man, I really don't want to end here. Okay. So we'll just Colrus again. And if we don't see an energy this time, we're probably just going to fall too far behind. 
Okay, we finally got there. So let's just sky high. Karen. Nope. Okay. She's going to verse the Seeker for N. She's going to smack us for 100. But then, we're just going to turn around and one-shot this Lele with Tapu Thunder. Actually. Well, hold on. If I can somehow pull off a 6 energy Raikou this turn, we can just kill it with Raikou, but we'll see. Though, um, hmm. We could also just Guzma the Shaman and kill it with Raikou. He does have Oricorio though. We might just let him take these two prizes for us to take the two prizes. Because we do play Karen so we can try and shut him down before he gets wild. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and attach there for turn. And we're just going to sit pretty. So let's top with Thunder. So we're going to go down to three. Now he's going to come back in and go down to three as well. We still didn't get our Karen, so she's still hiding in there. The only thing that's really going to hurt us is if our if like if our next prize isn't Karen, we could fall behind. Because he could just start hitting ridiculous numbers. Because he's already going to hit for 120. He's playing two Oricorio? What? It's a little excessive. And he's playing Pound Map. Okay. Ooh, he's got two Joltic prized and a DCE and a versus versus seeker. So his damage output's pretty limited. So it's two, four. He can only have maximum eight in here. And he's already got six of those eight. That's very useful information for us because we know about where his damage cap is. We should have he should only be playing two belts. We already field blowed them both away. So he should be capping off at 120 damage right now. He also didn't kill our Coco this turn. So we're going to. Guzma the Shaman switch to our Raiko. And I don't think we want to play anything else. No, we don't. So we'll go ahead and Thunder Lance for two more prizes. And there's our Karen as well. So now we're four prizes ahead. We should be able to just knock out whatever he brings up. Uh, Marshadow being the only one that we can't immediately one-shot. Though we do have Raikou. So we can pull off some shenanigans. Uh, I, I don't think Pikachu's our last prize. It might be. Uh, if Pikachu's still there, we can also pull off some shenanigans. Because Pikachu can one-shot Marshadow. He did get two prizes there for field blowing off the uh, 
Fury Belt from the Coco. I'm assuming he took DCE and one of the Joltics. So. He's now maxing out at 140 if he dumps everything in the in there. So he's going to teammates for... He already attached his DC, so I highly doubt he's going into Mars Shadow. Probably just leaves the Joltic up here, one-shotting the Raikou, and he probably just hopes we can't get another thing online. But we're playing Eels, so we're definitely going to get another thing online. Because right now we can get four energy on something in a turn. So we're not going to have any issue getting something online. All, two Oricorio and two Mars Shadow? It seems a little excessive. And he's going to blow another puzzle. He should be right around that point now where when we Karen, if we need to anyway, he's pretty much done. Hey, he's got two Compressor left and that's it. But we're going to win here anyway, so it's fine. So let's, we'll bring up one with the float stone. Draw for turn. Play Raikou. We will Dynamotor. Two said Raikou. Do it again. <clears throat> Do it the third time. And we will retreat to the Raikou. Put the belt. And Thunder Lance for game. So, yay! We won game one. So anyway, uh, that's Eels versus Night March. Uh, probably not the most optimal Night March build. Uh, it seemed a little clunky. That's what you get when you're playing two Ori Corio and two Marsh Shadow. But, uh... I know we started off a bit slow. We were able to kind of get there. Luckily, he started off slow, too. It's really hard when you start off slow and Night March is just coming at you for, you know, 180, 180, just one-shotting everything. So, luckily, he started off slow, too. We never even really needed to play Karen, but we did have it if we needed to. Um, but, anyways, guys, that's it for Game 1. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for Game 2. And, as always, stay jolly.